My name is Carol Kelly, and this is my story. In spring of 2010, I was weeks away from finals for my sophomore year at CU Boulder as an integrated physiology student. Just like any other day, I was getting ready to ride my bike from my apartment to class, coming up to the only street I had across, which was Baseline. It's a four-lane street which had the flashing crosswalk signs to stop traffic. I press the button to make the signs activate. There was no cars going east, but there was a bus and three other cars stopped for me on the west side. As I slowly rode my bike across a crosswalk, I rode in front of the bus to see if anyone was on the other side. As I peeked around, there was a car coming straight for me. I remember it being like a dream. I couldn't remember if it was me screaming or the car screeching. I got hit hard. It was like my body was frozen. Then I remember just flying through the air with no gravity, tossing and turning. Through meadows, playing catch with the leaves that have fallen. And then, when I opened my eyes, I was on the side of the road, in excruciating pain. I screamed for help. I couldn't move. A man came over, gray and white hair, asking if I was okay. I snapped at him to call 911. He turned me on my back, and someone yelled at me not to move. I froze, shaken. The bus driver that was there pulled my hand. I probably squeezed it off. The time waiting for the ambulance took forever. My backpack had ripped off me, cutting my shoulder. I was 20 feet away from the car. The pain was screaming out of my back, where years before I had had spine surgery. When the ambulance finally arrived, they put me on a stretcher and into the ambulance. It was hard for me to let go of the bus driver's hand. It was the only comfort I had. at Boulder Community Hospital where they told me I had fractured my pelvis in three places. I was lucky to be alive. With wearing no helmet, it was a miracle that I didn't even hit my head. While in the hospital, newspaper articles were posted about me. On the ones online, people made comments. Some of them were so hateful, as if I was a cocky cyclist who thought nothing could stand in my way. Riding that crosswalk day after day, I knew not all cars stopped, but this situation was different. After coming home from the hospital, I was handicapped for most of the summer. It took me a while to realize what had happened and how it could have been so much worse. After attending CU again that next semester, hating it, it finally hit me to make a change. Instead of science and pre-med, I changed to video editing and production and moved to Denver. That day in Boulder, I was hit by a car going 35 miles per hour, wearing no helmet, flew 20 feet from the car and hit the ground, and I'm here to tell that story. Before this, I never wore a helmet. Now, I always wear a helmet and encourage everyone I know to wear a helmet, because you never know what's going to happen. I probably would have never made this change without this accident happening to me. Even though I didn't realize right away how I could have easily been killed, I wouldn't change that day. It made me to a better and happier person. It's as if I wasn't seeing clearly before, but now my eyes are wide open and I'm living my life. It just wasn't my time.